Hi, I'm Ryan Mowat, one of the directors here at RS Aqua. The ARC is the original acoustic release canister that was designed for use with the Nova C acoustic release receivers. The reason for its development was a regulatory requirement in Scotland that all equipment deployed during a study, including the seabed anchors, be recovered when doing science in Scottish marine protected areas. The standard method of using an acoustic release receiver, it pops to the surface carrying its scientific data but leaves behind its seabed anchor. What the ARC allows us to do is retrieve that anchor weight alongside the rest of our equipment, leaving the seabed environment in the same pristine condition we found it in. The first version of the ARC was released in 2016 and was developed by RS Aqua alongside fishery scientists at Marine Scotland. The ARC is now a fourth generation product, having gone through three rounds of field tested upgrade programs over the past six years. It's available in three different form factors. At RS Aqua, it's a priority that we continue to modify and improve the ARC design to ensure our users are getting the most robust and reliable acoustic release recovery system available on the market. Activating and recovering the ARC is straightforward using a Nova Seas VR100 deck box system. The VR100 allows us to speak to the ARC from the sea surface using a secure acoustic transmission protocol and check its depth, tilt and general health. Once we're happy that the ARC is ready for release, we simply confirm the activation here on the VR100 and then wait for the ARC's distinctive floats to bring the acoustic release receiver to the surface, hopefully with its all-important fish tracking data. As it's doing that, the ARC will stream out a rope behind the receiver, which is connected to the seabed anchor. All we need to do then is use that line to winch the anchor up and we'll have recovered all our equipment from the site location. Importantly, the VR100 also allows us to find and recover our ARC systems should they get moved out of position, for example, by a trawled fishing gear. This has happened on several occasions over the years with our users. As long as the VR100 can get within range of the ARC, it will be able to tell us the ARC's depth and how far away it is. If we can do this from three or four locations, at the sea surface, we can triangulate the approximate position for the lost arc and then pop it up with a high degree of confidence in where it will appear. This is really important as it can often be really difficult to see objects at the sea surface, especially in heavy weather. So it's not an exaggeration to say that the arc has revolutionized our ability to do fish tracking studies in the UK and Ireland. Since its introduction, we've seen a massive increase in the amount of fish tracking work being done by government bodies like Marine Scotland, charities such as the Atlantic Salmon Trust, and universities across the UK and Ireland. Receiver arrays you see here are certainly the largest in Europe, if not the world, and the ARC forms the backbone of many of them. The drive to stop the decline in Atlantic salmon and sea trout has been the focus of much of this work, but plenty of other species ranging from European sea bass to various skates and sharks are now also being tagged in our waters on an annual basis. A lot of this is thanks to the ARC and our ability to do science safely and sustainably in our marine protected areas without impacting the seabed environment. If you have any more questions about the ARC, you can watch some of our previous videos, visit our website or get in touch with us directly.